Massachusetts, Boston in particular, they're known as a sports town. And the Patriots are sacred to many people in this state. And so when you have Aaron Hernandez up for murder, there was concern on the side of the prosecution that they would have a hard time finding a jury that would be willing to convict him. You know, Boston juries are notorious for letting people go, especially people with some celebrity. There were people showing up in his trial, waiting for hours to get in so they could wear their 81 jerseys and show support. You know, there were women who were still weeping over him every time he walked into the room. It was just ridiculous to see the fan base that was so determined to insist his innocence. It definitely was a highly anticipated trial. The courthouse, I don't think, had ever, ever seen a trial that drew that much attention. It was a media circus. Odin Lloyd's family was there in numbers. Aaron Hernandez's family members also were there. What made this case fascinating was you had two sisters Shania Jenkins was the sister of Shiana Jenkins, Aaron Hernandez's girlfriend, who would later become his fiance. They were close. Shania and Shiana were often together, and uh, it was just a matter of time before Odin and Aaron were going to meet. And now, here Shania was having to testify against uh, her sister's fiance for killing her boyfriend. That obviously led to this really interesting dynamic. You had Shiana Jenkins and Shania Jenkins, the two sisters who were on absolute polar opposites of this murder trial. Shiana stood by her man and Shania stood by Odin Lloyd's family. My sister, because you know that was her boyfriend, took her boyfriend's family side. All right, for the jury. Oh, of course, I, I was shocked. Shania talked about that Shayana kept getting these phone calls and text messages. How was she behaving after receiving these text messages? Not normal. Shayana has a big trash bag. That video does not look good for Shayana Jenkins. As the trial begins, all eyes will be on Aaron Hernandez. He is charged with the first degree murder of Odin Lloyd, whose body was found a half a mile away from the NFL star's home. All rise for the jury. As the trial began, you, you don't know what to expect. It's a whole, it's a whole different life. You're scrutinized mentally. It takes a toll. You have to develop a thick skin. And I completely have a thick skin, not by choice, but I have a thick skin and I'm just built this way now. It's a learning experience. Of course, of this trial, ladies and gentlemen, the Commonwealth is going to prove to you that the defendant committed the crime of murder. Bristol prosecutors weren't the most elegant prosecutors I'd ever seen. They didn't tell a story. They didn't weave a narrative. You know, it, it wasn't the sexiest prosecution, for lack of a better word. But they had the evidence. They had very strong, compelling evidence that was difficult to refute. He said he wasn't present at the homicide. He said he was elsewhere at a club when the killing happened. There were two reasons for the trial being as unusual as it was. The first was that prosecutors didn't identify a motive, and they also did not uh, recover the murder weapon. They could never put the murder weapon in Aaron's hands. Now, if they couldn't do that, he was innocent. All told, in June of 2013, there were 12 cameras located on the inside and the outside of the house. Prosecutors had to rely on circumstantial evidence. 
cell phone tower records and surveillance videos from all sorts of places to sort of piece together this timeline and hope that the jury would fill in the pieces of the puzzle that they couldn't exactly produce. <laughs> Aaron Hernandez is an innocent man. It was clear from fairly early on that the defense was going to hint that perhaps Wallace or Ortiz killed Lloyd. Ernest Wallace and Carlos Ortiz, uh, they had been arrested and were awaiting trial for first degree murder, but they did not testify against Hernandez. They locked on Aaron, even when they developed evidence that two other men were with Aaron and Odin that night. Of the three, only one of them was famous. And of the three, only one of them didn't have a criminal record. And of the three, only one of them was gainfully employed and spent numerous hours per day working in an actual job. And also, the defense's approach was more focused on poking holes in the government's case than it was on suggesting an alternative story. The evidence will show the investigation was sloppy and unprofessional. We were fascinated by the relationship between Shania Jenkins and Shiana Jenkins. They seemed so different. Shania Jenkins is a law student. She was always dressed very conservatively, modestly, in these kind of sensible shoes and, and slacks and a blouse, and her hair was always tied back. She looked like she was ready to go you know, to the office. On the other hand, Shiana Jenkins was always just dressed to the nines. It was very cold during the trial, and there was a lot of ice and snow on the streets. She was always wearing like stiletto heels. Uh, you never saw her in comfortable, sensible boots, and she always had makeup on, very carefully applied. And she was friendly. You know, she liked talking to the reporters. Um, she would smile at us and you know joke around a little bit. Whereas Shania steered clear of us. She didn't want to talk to any of us, and she would stay very close to to Odin Lloyd's mother. There definitely was a tension between the Jenkins sisters. That was apparent. They didn't look at each other. They didn't exchange glances. And this absolutely ripped their relationship apart. This was a Shakespearean tale. You could not make up. Sitting through some of the things that my sister said was, was very, very hard because he was always good to her. Did you meet Aaron Hernandez at some point? Yes. How long ago did you meet him? In high school sometime, I believe. In, you know, the, the sitting on opposite sides, I mean, this is someone that she had known for years, opposed to someone that I felt she was still getting to know. Um, but, you know, I chose how I was going to view things and how I wanted to deal with things, and she chose hers. Then she took the stand during the trial for the, the prosecution. Then that's completely fine. Had you been sleeping prior to this phone call? Yes. And uh, did you learn something at that time? Yes. And what did you learn? That Odin was dead. Watching Shania on the stand, she got very emotional when she talked about learning about Odin Lloyd's murder, the murder of the guy she loved, and her sister, Shayana, sitting behind Aaron Hernandez, the man accused of killing him. As a result of learning that, did you call anybody? Yes, Shayana. 